guys, today I'm going to be talking about asking questions. Specifically, being able to ask them, and especially being able to ask why. I was watching a Joe Rogan podcast, as you do, with Sean Carroll, and he says something that to me reminds me of my early days of discovering religion. And that's basically, don't ask why, why is the wrong question, um, why is not even where you're supposed to go, uh, you can't ask why, things like that. Now having the description about where that starts. He basically is saying that why, you can't ask why, or you shouldn't ask why, or why doesn't matter when it comes to how the whole universe started. And for me, that's kind of a stupid thing to say. Of course it matters why. It's how we understand everything that we understand. Now, I could have taken it the wrong way, but that's what he seems to be saying to me. And this reminded me of my early days of discovery when it came to religion. Many people told me you can't ask why. Now this is one of the things that kept me away from religion in general as well. If I'm discovering the deeper things of the universe, then I should be able to ask why. It should not be a discouraged thing or thought of to be a question that isn't important. In fact, we created something called the five W's. Who, what, where, when, why, and sometimes how. In order to discover the truth of a thing. It's the structure we hold to in discovery and inquiry to fully understand something. This is especially important when it comes to what we have been seeking, seeing in the world recently. We need to be able to ask these proving questions in order to understand. The same concept is even in the Bible. God is constantly telling us to ask and encouraging us to explore our world. When you're reading your Bible, pay attention to what it says. When the writers use phrases like, that he might, what then, what you may know, or the word for, these are all answering the questions of why. I'll have more examples in the description. Science teaches us the sometimes how, but we need to understand the who, what, when, where, and why in order to fully understand what the how really means, and the Bible is one of the best tools to help us do that. Okay guys, that's all I have for today. I will see you next time. Be blessed and tell me, you know, do you have any of your other stories of people telling you you can't ask questions? Because that's really anti-biblical. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.